My name's Caitlin, and I'm the Education Officer for Expedition 342 on board the Joides Resolution. On a ship for two months? <laughs> what would you do? But we don't know what's inside of it, and that's why we drill. People can really relate to science a lot more when they can see it. Could you go back and show us the ocean again? Could we see more of that rock? It is an exciting career. I love doing this. You meet a lot of people. The crew, uh, the scientists, the technicians. Being an educator on any kind of research vessel is a life-changing experience. That's the ball. So you the ball. I think it's important to have educators on research vessels because it um, gives the kids a real, a real connection to science that's happening in the world today. It's really important to have an education officer on board because the communicating of the science is their top priority. It's my job to make sure you guys know everything that's going on with all the cool science to what we're having for dinner that day. The scientists are professionals at what they do uh, and, and while they often want to get involved, they don't necessarily know how to make a video or conduct a webcast or anything like that. There's a good chance it could be pointing south as well. We really want to, to explore the big, broad questions that affect all of society. We've got to tell society about that. And so public outreach is absolutely key ingredient in that. Awesome! It's coral from an ancient atoll. Can you see? School of Rock is our professional development program for educators. That's where we take advantage of tie-ups of the ship or transits where we have a lot of extra berths or open berths and we can put a whole bunch of educators on the ship at one time. School of Rock and this brochure were very useful for me to prepare this expedition. The education officer program is where there's only one or sometimes two educators who go out on a standard expedition, that's a two-month expedition, for the entire time. All of our education programs really intertwine with each other. So if somebody goes on the School of Rock, they might also apply to become an education officer, and then they're really well equipped to do that job. And some of our education officers then will return to train other education officers or to help with School of Rock, which is really great to see because people help each other out and they want to stay engaged. I was selected to be one of the two European teachers, and it was for me a great moment. I felt like I was prepared before I before I went, but as soon as I stepped onto the ship, it was like, oh my gosh, this is this is going to be life for 60 days. But I don't think anything can really prepare you for those two months at sea, and it is a bit of a baptism of fire in some ways. So I proposed that I should do science music videos, a la uh, Schoolhouse Rock, and they said, name that tune. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I think it's, it's harder work than you anticipate, working 12 hours a day for seven days. But that's what you're there to do. We have to be very organized and we have to, to write, uh, to, to speak, to, to be in contact with everybody. I mean, it's amazing to see um, not only the, the sediments come up um, that nobody's seen for millions of years, but also to see how that really brings people together. And you're interacting and cooperating and learning from and working with real-life scientists, real-life crew members, and um, just the experience of being at sea is incredible. I'm helping out in the chem lab because the education officer doesn't always just <laughs> blog. So it would be get up at 1 a.m., uh, have something to eat and then just keep broadcasting throughout the day. On a busy day we'd have five or six broadcast schedules. A lot of schools were quite reluctant, they were scared of the technology. But actually when they realised how easy it was, they said it was like having a personal documentary beamed into their classroom with a presenter that you could interact with. Today on Penguin TV, ocean drilling for kids. We consider it successful when we see a lot of people talking about the expedition in our audiences, so teachers and students, when there are a lot of video broadcasts and we're getting feedback from those and we can see what they're saying. Showing them how we know what we know about the Earth I think is extremely important. Just expose these kids to what else is out there. So many of them think, 
They're, they have nothing to look forward to. I like to do these things to bring them options that you don't have to have a scientific degree to still have a pretty cool job. After one of the video broadcasts, um, we heard one of the students during the questioning session saying, oh, I want to be a geologist. Dinosaurs? No dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs? No dinosaurs. If we could just achieve one thing with this outreach, my most fervent wish would be hang on to that childhood enthusiasm for the natural world. We've really seen that this job is life-changing for the people who do it. So once they go out there and they become a member of the JR family, so to speak, they stay with us forever. The people I networked with, both on the science side and the education side, um, it's still opening doors. I'd say it was a life-enhancing experience. It's definitely helped me see things with, with a broader view on life. Our presence on the ship made, it just sort of mixed it all up and made it even better than just if, if we hadn't been there. I would definitely go again. Do it, enjoy it, because it's very, very great. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Go ahead, why not? You get one shot at it, so go for it.